India is one of the last domains of the practice of caste and untouchability in the world. This story is about the battle for human rights, the battle to rid India of untouchability, being fought by the everyday Parai frame drummers in the Indian village. This Parai has given them a polluted identity because they have been drumming at the funerals. The drum is made from animal skin, considered polluting to the touch by Hindus. Because their very name is given Parai as Parai. The status of folk music and also folk musicians are very, very low. They're just in the fringe. They're not very much part of the society. Not like the Carnatic musicians or any other light musicians or temple musicians. Just like in this community, the caste hierarchy is so strong. Even the music, they have a hierarchy. Essia and Amulraj are two drummers of the Pariyar caste. These men and seven others are members of the drum set group Kurinji Malar. They live in the Cheri, or ghetto, of the village of Munevendri, near the town of Paramagudi in southeastern Tamil Nadu. I'm an ethnomusicologist. I chose to come to the village of Munevendri to study the Parai drum with Kurinji Malar because they were at an early stage of professionalizing, yet they still had to negotiate aspects of untouchability and the degraded value of their instrument. Munevendri and in that region, caste atrocities and caste consciousness have been there for years together. The Parer and the Chaklir are landless people. They always depend upon the upper caste. Why it is so important that you have to come and, uh, you know, accompany this dead body to the, uh, you know, burning god. When we play our drums, the sound of our drum will take the soul to Sorgam. That is a place, heaven. That is why they need us. This parai has to be played in front. Otherwise, the people still believe that the spirit of the deity will not come out of the temple. Without parai, you cannot have a festival. Parai has the capacity to invoke the deity. You must be the subject of history, not the objects of history. We don't belong to even this caste system. We are out. We are awareness. Therefore, purity uh, it doesn't have any meaning in our life. What is important is for us, humanism, justice, equality. You are going to make history. Cherries will make histories. Chennai Changamam brought a fresh air. There is another world possible. In January 2009, Kurinji Mahler participated as Parai Atam artists in the third annual Chennai Sangamum Festival. Their positive reception by Chennai citizens significantly shifted their sense of internal pride as drummers. I consider Chennai Sangamum also has contributed to reconstruct the Parai identity. You know, it gave the total reconstruction of what is to be music festival. It's a war against untouchability. It's a war to defend 
the dignity and the the pristine glory of parai art idu me engalukku patta da arimana perumadhu undu podumana adu 